G'day, I'm Warwick Shillin. Today I want to show you how you can go about teaching a horse to flex laterally. Um, this is a three-year-old quarter horse filly. I've been working with her for just a little while. And um, I'm going to show you how easy it is and how light they can be to do, to do this. Um, but I will caution you, if you've let your horse drag you all over the place and all that sort of stuff up to this point in time, you can't teach them to do this light. This mare, when I like, she can lunge around me, she doesn't pull on me, I can change directions, do most everything with her, and she doesn't actually pull on this lead rope. So what I've done here, I'll show you how light it is. I was, recently I was talking to a horseman from Mexico, and he said, uh, you know, in the old days, what they would do is they would, to, to prove how good a horseman you are and how light your horse was, they would tie the bridle reins onto the bit with five pieces of horse hair. And if you broke the, the five pieces of horse hair, you were pulling too hard on the range, your horse wasn't light. So I thought, well, I can do that. So I'm gonna go on better. I have tied this lead rope here onto the halter with one single strand of tail hair. It's one of her hairs out of a tail, okay? I've been hanging onto her here for a second with this one until I get it done. So right now I'm gonna teach her to flex laterally with this piece of rope tied to um, a piece of tail hair. Okay, so I'm just gonna take that one off and throw it over there. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stand back here I'm just going to pick up on this little rope right here and just wait for her nose to move toward like that. And then I'm going to let go. Okay, all you're going to do, all you're going to do is just wait till their nose moves a little bit and then let go. So I'm just going to pick up again, just like that, and wait for it to move like that and let go. So I have not worked on lateral flexion on this horse before. Okay, now, like I said, I haven't let her drag me around, but I haven't specifically worked on bending her head to the side like this before. So let's pick up right there again, her nose starts to come, I'll let go. I'm just gonna pick up again. It's not coming, I'm just gonna wait. Right there it comes, I'll let go. Let me just turn her over here so you can see it maybe a little bit better. You know, and there's another thing too. If you can't lead your horse around, have a move and stop when you want with one piece of horse hair on there, they're probably a little bit belligerent. Anyway, so I'm just going to slowly pick up on that. I'm just going to wait. See, she's looking over there. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people say, well, how hard do you pull? I can't kind of tell how hard you're pulling. That's how hard I'm pulling. And right there, there's something to look at over there. There's a car driving down the driveway. When she came back to me just a little bit, I let go. They don't have to come all the way around here. Anything with her head moving to the left, even if it's way over there, is good. Right there, I let go. I'll just pick up here again, I'll just wait. So she's looking over there, I'm just gonna wait. If you watch her left ear will probably move back towards me before her head comes around too. Just pick up again, there it goes right there. Pick up again, there it goes right there, very good. So, I'm gonna keep going here, but that's, that's about as simple as it gets, you know. Within the first five minutes I can do that just off one tail hair out of her tail.